Okay, so this is just a short video um, of a BC348 Dynamotor that uh, I've recently obtained. Um, when I bought it, the 24 volt brushes were completely done in. Um, I took them off, but I couldn't get them out without destroying them. So basically you have four Allen keys here. You take these out and then these items, these units can slide back and you can get access, uh, the brush holders, you can get access to the uh, um, commutator and so on. So, so I did that. Um, um, I also did the same on this side, but they came out. This is the 210 volt side and this is the 24 volt side. And these ones came out, they're in good condition, so I, I just basically replaced them. They're fine and they're working nicely. Uh, let's have a look what this says here. Oh, yeah, it's a bit bit corroded, this thing, but um, output 220, input 29, does it say? Ooh, no, 28 volts, there we are. 27.94 or something volts, this is strange. Anyway, yes, so... Having replaced the, 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 the big first challenge was replacing the uh, carbon brushes. Um, I managed to go online and find something that was close to what I had. The original ones, all I had left was literally the spring and the, uh, the, 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 the thing disintegrated as I got it out. Um, so um, I found these online and I'll put a link to these. Um, it should be noted that this is a link... These, these brushes are the 24 volt side and on the 210 volt side they're a different size so um, I haven't bought those but I, I will I will say where these came from just in case if someone wants to try and restore one of the units. Okay so um, I'll switch it on and we'll run it up to power. Let me just switch it on. Excuse me. Let's turn on the... Uh... Turn it up to 27 volts. There we are, 28 volts. It's a bit high. There we are, 27.9. Let's have a look at the thing. And the unit's running quite nicely now. Here. Yeah. Satisfyingly noisy. Um, what else have we got to have? So I'm measuring the output. And you can see the output is 225 volts. And easily enough um, output power to uh, to run the receiver the bc348 receiver when i uh, when i do it so this is all part of a receiver is um, a receiver restoration um, one thing i'm going to have to do is rewire the uh, rewire all the heaters um, to be in series rather than parallel um, and it's two sets of heaters um, to, to equal 24 volts uh, or 28 volts um, but that won't be a big problem let me turn the power off a second oh. right and so the end caps of this are in pretty poor shape but I can I'll, I'll give them a little bit of work clean them up and I've got some wrinkle finish paint so I'll wrinkle finish them um, and uh, cook the ends the, the main body of the dynamotor is not in too bad a, a way. The, the base, on the other hand, needs to come off and that will need completely cleaning. Um, and as you can see, the good thing is the base is there. Um, and I do have the, um, the connector as well somewhere. Um, that will need cleaning and testing and rewiring completely because obviously it's... Um, it's um, uh, it's it's been got at at some point, <laughs> so I'll work on that. Um, it, it, technically, it should have a metal plate on the bottom, or rather a box. Um, I I will probably manufacture something to go on the bottom. Probably just a plate. It doesn't need to be a box. I don't think for for the work. Uh, this isn't going to go back into an aircraft or anything, but I will um, I'll remanufacture something to go on the bottom. Um, that looks respectable um, and that can go back into the radio once once I've done a full restore right oh 
so on with the show i think the next thing is to probably clean the commutator to take the end caps off these need greasing to to make sure the thing runs smoothly um i'll take the, the dynamotor off the base as i say and uh, clean clean up the whole base and and get it uh, electrically correct re, re reassemble the whole thing so a little way to go but um at least the main thing which is the fact that the dynamotor works is uh, is has been proven